On this occasion, we would like to travel you to Mashhad, a city in Iran. We are going to Imam Reza Shrine, it is a complex which contains the mausoleum of Imam Reza, the eighth Imam of Twelver Shias. It is the largest mosque in the world by area. The complex is a tourism center in Iran and has been described as the, the heart of the Shia Iran with millions of Iranian and non-Iranian Shias visiting the shrine each year. Imam Reza was the eighth Imam of Shia, one of the two main branches in Islam, and one of the descendants of Prophet Muhammad. He lived from 765 to 818 during Abbasid Caliphs or an Islamic steward. Based on the Shia point of view, the Caliph al mamun had faced numerous problems. As Imam Reza was a popular figure in that time, al mamun summoned Imam Reza to the capital city of Tuz or the former name of Mashhad, to be his successor. Imam Reza gained more popularity than the Caliphate. So, al mamun decided to eliminate him by poisoning him. Imam Reza was buried in one of the villages near Tuz, in Khorasan province. Later, this village's name was changed to Mashhad, which means the place of martyrdom. Today, Mashhad is one of the largest, most populated, and important cities in Iran after Tehran. Formation of Mashhad as a city and its development is indebted to creation of the Holy Shrine. Thus the complex becomes the religious, political, social and also artistic center for Mashhad. It also, immensely, influenced the economic status of the city. The first built structure in the complex is the holy shrine under which the tomb of Imam Reza is located. Imam Reza's holy shrine is a complex of urban structures and infrastructures, buildings and museum collections created and developed in different stages throughout the history. It is a witness of the continuity of traditions within the history and culture of Iran and the Islamic world. Regarding the cultural, historic and architectural structure aspects, the complex is comparable with several other religious complexes such as a St. Peter's tomb in Vatican, Mahabodhi Temple in India, Mount Emi in China, and Lumbani in Nepal. It is now on the tentative list of UNESCO World Heritage nomination. There are 16 museums and treasuries inside and outside Imam Reza Holy Shrine. Some of them are the treasury of coins, the treasury of stamps and postal items, the treasury of weapons, and the treasury of abstract arts. The Treasury Museum of Stamp and Postal Items for example was inaugurated on 10 February 1991 and is situated in the lower floor of the Central Museum. In this museum, rare and valuable collection of more than 50,000 stamps from Iran and various other countries are exhibited, including stamps from Indonesia as one of the collection. The first stamp printed in Iran in 1247 Solar Hydra 1868 AD during the Kaja period is exhibited in the museum. The other important stamps displayed in the museum are the Victor Castian series printed in the holy city of Mashhad in 1901 AD. Some other stamps on display are the half blocks printed in 1875 to 76 AD during the reign of Nasruddin Shah Kaja. According to Encyclopedia Iranica, both a utensil to indicate a paid postage fee on mail matters, and a medium of official self-representation, stamps have been used in Iran since the 19th century. The introduction of postage stamps took place during the Kaja era in connection with the establishment of a modern postal system initiated by Mezataki Khan Amir Kabir and continued by Amin al-Dawla. 
The stamps of the Kaja era constitute a special case, as the genuine stamp emissions are outnumbered by a great number of reprints and forgeries. For that reason, the early stamps of Iran form one of the most challenging collecting fields in philately. At the this museum, we can find the collection of coins from the ages ago. The earliest coins are mostly associated with Iron Age Anatolia of the late 7th century BCE, and especially with the Kingdom of Lydia. The first Electrum coins issued by a monarch are those minty by King Aliats of Lydia. His successor King Croesus, 560-546 BCE, became associated with great wealth in Greek historiography. He is credited with issuing the Croesid, the first true gold coins with a standardized purity for general circulation. And the world's first bimetallic monetary system c. 550 BCE. Coins spread rapidly in the 6th and 5th centuries BCE, leading to the development of ancient Greek coinage and Achaemenid coinage, and further to Illyrian coinage. The Achaemenid Empire issued coins from 520 BCE, 450 BCE to 330 BCE. The Persian Darik was the first gold coin which, along with a similar silver coin, the Siglos, the represented the first bimetallic monetary standard. It seems that before the Persians issued their own coinage, a continuation of Lydian coinage under Persian rule is likely. Achaemenid coinage includes the official imperial issues of Darix and Sigloi, as well as coins issued by the Achaemenid provincial governors as satraps, such as those stationed in Asia Minor. Thank you for watching this episode. Please share, comments and like. UDK sharing stories from inside Tehran.